Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Welcome back. It's the last film in the trilogy, when things really get exciting. Let's now take some time to talk about the commonly ordered tests used to help aid in the diagnosis of heart failure. One of the most commonly ordered labs is the brain natriuretic peptide, aka BNP. Plasma concentrations of BNP and its sidekick, NT pro BNP, are elevated in patients with left ventricular dysfunction, especially from heart failure. At Sketchy, BNP is represented by a recurring symbol, the BNP blimpfish. Notice how their fins kind of look like the number 400? That's because most patients with heart failure have BMP levels greater than 400 picograms per milliliter. However, it's important to remember that an elevated BMP is only suggestive of heart failure. It can't make the diagnosis by itself. BMP is by no means the only lab you'll see ordered for a patient with suspected heart failure. It's simply the most powerful lab to help you make the diagnosis. We'll talk about a few other labs that are commonly ordered to rule out other diseases on the differential in a moment. Every patient with suspected heart failure should get an ECG, represented by that grid-like fishing net, to help determine the underlying cause. Whether it's an old MI or existing arrhythmia, ECGs will pick up lots of potential cardiac causes of heart failure. Some types of cardiac ischemia won't be readily apparent, however, which is why every patient with suspected heart failure should undergo stress testing, represented by this old-school treadmill, to evaluate for underlying coronary artery disease. Wow, that thing's still working under the sea? Man, they just made stuff better back in the day. <laughs>